Ever since on the internet, I came across this huge Buddha in the paddy fields in Thailand. Um, I've been wishing to go. And this place, this temple that it belongs to is called Wat Muang. And it's a uh, two hours drive from Bangkok. But I'll give you more details later. We have not arrived yet, but we are in a distance and it's about 10 minutes away, but you can see how huge it is. And um, you can see it from all directions. And it's got some scaffolding on its holy body is because they're doing some paint work on it, repainting, and they're gonna finish in a few months time. But let's get closer and let's take a look at this holy Buddha. Let's go now. Wat Muang is located in a province called An Tong, one of the central provinces of Thailand, about 108 kilometers from Bangkok Central. The name means golden bowl, which refers to An Tong as a center for prosperity as it has many, many rice fields. An Tong is luxurious, full of native crafts, molded court dolls, fire brick and wicker works. In An Tong, there are more than 200 magnificent and interesting temples that you might find the time to visit. The Ubosot building in the temple of Wat Muang is surrounded by the biggest lotus petals in the world. Something to note in your travel log. The upper floor of the museum houses the first and the largest silver holy Buddha. So if you go upstairs, the first floor, it has the first and the largest ever silver Buddha in Thailand, which was constructed in commemoration of the 50th anniversary of His Majesty, the King's ascendancy to the throne. Within the temple compound, there are figures of heaven and hell, Thai gods, paradises, Chinese gods and paradises, and huge statue of Kuan Yin. Besides, there are figures narrating the history of the Thai Burmese battles in Wise Chai Chan. Very, very colorful, very, very bright, and all in 3D.
this is my first time seeing such a very large Buddha and the feeling I get when I see it is uh, a lot of calm, peacefulness and the surrounding area just adds to it, you know, and when you, go, when you get up there and you touch the hand of the Buddha, uh, I, you, you just feel all happy inside. <laughs> well, that's what I feel anyway. Um, <clears throat> I'm the same as Justin. This, I think it's the first biggest Buddha I saw. And um, it's really overpowering and overwhelming, the sight of it. It's, it's very magnificent, um, somewhat surreal. And it's good that it's so big that even on the way in here, we can see it from afar. So it can actually bless quite a lot of people. Yeah, this is also the first time I see such a large Buddha outdoor statue. And it's really big. And um, I just feel that um, the people, the local Thais, have so much devotion and so much faith um, in Buddhas himself. And b hence built such a big Buddha statue outdoor and blessed um, people around the place. And um, it's such a great blessing to be here. <clears throat> I really like this place because I felt the the layout of this place is, uh, is very special because when we walked in there we actually go through hell and from there um, the literal the, the different kinds of hell and and after that there is actually a liberation this is the Buddha and uh, the huge Buddha really give me a, a lot of peace and uh, it's, 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 it's really something Uh, when I first saw this picture on the vlog, I was awestruck. But coming here, it's amazing because the Buddha is like, I don't know. I don't know how people make it out of their bare hands. And it's 95 meters tall. It brings a feeling of calmity around and a very positive feel to the whole place. Um, it's very nicely lay laid out and it's very cooling, even though it's very hot because there's a lot of shade the other side. But the but the statue is really I have no words to describe seeing it. Thank you. When I first saw the Buddha, I was in a bit of shock. I think because one of the size and just because of how beautiful it looks, you know, you can see it really f coming up the highway. You can see it and it's huge, and um, it's very impressive and very inspiring that the Thais can build something so big and it's a nice feeling to know that there is still this stronghold of Buddhism or Dharma where, near where we live. Yes, it's nice to be here. Rao 一个和尚的一个心愿能够把这样子一个从小小的一个一个佛堂然后变得建立这么大建立一个这么大的一个佛像我觉得那个感那感觉是很很觉得其实我们都可以做到而且也看到很多的那些呃上学的小孩子呢
I'm very um, um, grateful to Ramachi to give me this uh, opportunity to come to Wat Mong and to view this uh, magnificent um, Buddha. Um, I feel this this big uh, statue here uh, brings a lot of serenity and calm to the area and also the the Thais in general. And I do I I really rejoice in the Thai people's um, devotion uh, that they're able to support their teachers and build this magnificent uh, statue. The big Shakyamuni statue, which is the highlight of Wat Mong, it is outdoors. Uh, behind the main temple is again 95 meters in height and 63.05 meters wide. It is a sight, an image to behold, absolutely beautiful, breathtaking, and worth your visit, worth your ride from Bangkok to Wat Mong to see. As you drive up to Wat Mong, you'll be able to see it from the highway, the large Buddha from a distance. Seeing this itself brings great excitement. Pra Ajahn Kasem and his students started to build this complex from May 2nd, 1991 and completed on February 16th, 2007. It took 16 years to complete. Estimated funds was about 3.3 US million dollars. All funds came from donations. People were very happy to donate to such a holy and sacred project. Wat Muang is open daily from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. and admission is free. I highly recommend anyone and everyone to visit this beautiful Wat Muang and a beautiful place to spend half a day at least Plenty of drinks and places to eat as you drive up near the Wat. And when you see the beautiful Buddha, don't forget to make a wish and light and incense. Proportions are very nice. 